back to another video welcome back to another youtube welcome back to another vlog from who else but your girl life of key in today's video i will basically be giving a couple tips to help you start a successful business and brand how to start a successful business and brand this video has been in the making for a while now um just like my previous video um i just wanted to get to a point in my career in my entrepreneurship where i can actually help the next person start their own business um as you can see got my tree tapestry up we don't celebrate xmas um we're more of kwanzaa we've been celebrating kwanzaa this year will make year two so i decided to not do with any type of tree i just got a tapestry up this year anyway but this video will basically be how to start a successful business and brand so make sure you get your notes together so you can take some notes because the things i'm going to be going over you're going to need definitely definitely to start a brand so make sure you like comment and subscribe so i would say the number one thing that a lot of people don't know about opening a business and starting a business is that you will have to find this thing what do you mean by this thing? This thing, like find a niche, find something that you just love to death that you want to give to the people, you want to serve the people. It can be shoes, it can be helping people get their credit together, it can be all kind of stuff. But just find this thing that people will come to you for, um, clothes, whatever, that you really are in love with find this thing for me i always wanted a store of my own i have a lot of entrepreneurs in my family not just my mom's side but my dad's side as well so seeing entrepreneurs have their own business growing up it was always big for me and i always just i want my own so i always wanted chicacentrics.com didn't know it was gonna have that name and that leads me into tip two. Number one was find your niche, find that thing. Number two is definitely, definitely create a unique name for your brand. Create a unique name and logo for your brand. That is what's going to stick out the most to people when you introduce your brand. Chicacentrics, she chica centric stick out the most to people because they've never heard of that they want to know what that is and some people have asked me where did you get you know where did you get that name from um how did you even come across that chica centrics is kind of my attitude so chic hippie is um my username on instagram i created back when i first joined instagram and it's just kind of who i am as a person very earthy laid back type of chick but at the same time she real classy with it she's a class act but she's also a weirdo and a laid back kind of low-key nerd so <laughs> she concentrics she hippie kind of created she concentrics classy weirdos basically so for me that's how i came up with my name um and you want to make sure nobody else has your name nobody else has your name because it could be one thing to share a name with somebody but then you know they getting people might get your website mixed up with theirs so you want to make sure it's only one of you like with chica centrics it's only one chica centrics only one so have a unique name thirdly i would say the biggest thing is when you're opening a business is to study 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 your field 
study people that are in the same business as you and that do the same type of things that you do study 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 it plays a big part in the longevity of your career your business your brand study the field me like i said i have a flagship store which basically means I don't only carry my personal items, but I also carry other items. I do consignment. I do all kinds of stuff. So I'm like a one-stop shop. Makeup, jewelry, shoes, bags, clothes, you name it. She got it. So I, for a long time, studied people that did what I do or do what I do. Because you have to study the best to be the best that's a must that's a given you got to do that so finding your niche finding a unique name and like i said study fourth is also a big vital and very important thing that i think everybody should really 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 let it sink into them you have to network and market you got to network and market you got to network to get your net worth up in markets, okay? And don't network to just anybody. Don't just network to your peers. Don't just network to your family. Network to people that are within your target audience and that are going to constantly shop with you. I call it finding your tribe. I found my tribe maybe two years ago. Yeah, maybe a year into two or three years ago, maybe a year into me being in the business, I found my tribe, people that shop with me every time they get paid, I found my tribe. So just network, not to just potential buyers, but also people that are doing what you do, the people that you study, network with them. Because a lot of the people that do what I do that are making that 40 grand a month, making that 20 grand a month, like I talk to them on a regular basis not on teach me what you know but just i talk to them because they sometimes reach out to me and be like wow you made me want to step it up no sis you made me want to step it up so just network and market 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 you gotta market you gotta market if you have to pay a team um to get your marketing together market 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 and network as much as possible Fine. Every social media does not really need your attention. Like for me, none of my tribe was really, no transactions actually happened on Facebook for me, ever. Instagram is where all of my tribe is, is where all my transactions take, took place at. And Snapchat. And now Twitter is starting to be a part of that a little bit too. And this platform helped my company big time because this is a bullhorn for my company that's why i create that's one of the reasons i created the youtube so marketing network that's number four you got a marketing network number five which is another another vital tip that a lot of people that are in business successfully will tell you and it's something that i know after being in business for this long my company does the most sales when i take a break away from work so number five you have to leave your nine to five in order for your company to do what you want it to do this is something I know personally because um, my company does really well when I work, but when I'm away from a job and just focusing strictly on my company, I do numbers every single day. When I'm on a job working, I do numbers like weekly. It's so-so, but when it's just me and my company, I'm able to really grind and get to the quota I want to get to for my company. So number five is you have to leave your nine to five if you want your company to survive. That rhymed and I wasn't even trying to do that. But 
I really hope you guys learned something in this 10 minute video that I put together because it's been a long time coming for this video. My company, I actually started working on my company around this time. It's November of 20. Four years ago, I it was just a brainchild that I was just had in my head and it was just like, yeah, you need to go and start working on this. Cause the sooner you start, the you know better off it'll be. And January the 31st will make four years in business successfully. <laughs> successfully. I'm not gonna say it's been perfect, but successfully I've been in business for four years. So this video was just a long time coming and I know there's other people out there that want to create their own brand and, you know, create a company that they want to make lucrative off of and enjoy doing what you do and just lucrative money off of and, you know, enjoy doing what you do and not have to go back to work because that's what I'm working up to. I'm working up to that. So... I hope you guys really thought about the five tips I gave you today. Like I said, find your niche, find your thing that you got to do. You can't breathe, eat, or sleep without it. Two, find that unique name or logo that's going to put you out there and make you stand out. Three, study your field. You have to study your field. You have to study the best in order for you to be the best. Four... Like I said, you have to network to get your net worth up. You have to market to get that net worth up. It ain't just going to come overnight. You got to really put in the time and effort to get to where you want to be at with your business. And five, your business will not survive if you're still at a nine to five. Can I get an amen? Amen. So... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming to watch today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to shop ChicEccentrics.com. Going into four years. I'm so excited. But thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys.